I separated out some of the plants from the ones I had under a grow light inside. There's a video on those in my channel if you want to check back. This one's a King Henry. I divided a good section out of him, but I still got the backup section indoors in case it doesn't work. And I've got a red the piece of the red dragon here and a piece of the Dante there. And it's always a tricky thing trying to take a plant that's been inside and putting them outside. There's kind of two schools of thought. One is just gradually do it. You know, little by little, put them outside a few hours and bring them back inside and gradually increase the time. The other school of thought is just put them out there and leave them out there. I'm uh, hoping that since it's still pretty cool outside, real early spring, that they will adapt just putting them out. But of course, I'm going to be watching for trouble. And if I screw up and I lose a plant, well, I've got the other ones still inside under the grow light. I can, I can try again next year. But yeah, I'm trying this 18-inch pot. I'm not entirely convinced I like how these guys are looking. Yeah, they're not bad. I just remember the disaster I had last time when they were turning yellow. But I've still got a bunch of B-52s here, and this is the one I divided out. And then I replanted that one too, and I don't know if I like the way he's looking either. But it was just two parts uh, peat moss, one part perlite mix, pretty standard. It's so the meat, the mix shouldn't be it. I guess maybe this is the stress of transplanting. I, I did, when I transplanted these, I did, I left them in for about a week, trying to get them used to this, you know, get over the stress of being transplanted. And then now I'm imposing new stress, putting them outside. We will see how all this goes. And uh, I'm still, I don't know, I'm thinking I may let this one just fill out the pot more. It's a B-52, so in case everything go, hits the fan, I still got him. And this is my uh, uh, one I got from Lowe's or Home Depot, I don't remember which one. But uh, he's filled that pot, and I'm thinking I may divide him up into smaller ones and I don't know, maybe I'll give some to the grandkids, hopefully, and my brother-in-law, hopefully they won't kill them, I'll try to give them instructions, but yeah, these, I still got to pick up, I'll pick out all the dead stuff, but uh, I think they're doing okay, oh, and I got the other ones under here, yeah, I got the one I put in the 12-inch pot, it seems to be ready to go again. I'm, I'm just going to leave them and let them grow in there and hopefully they're going to fill that pot completely. <laughs> and I'm kind of hoping this one too, but yeah, we'll see. I'll just keep an eye on it. I mean, they got the stress of being transplanted the, and uh, I'm hoping that this pot is not, hope this pot's going to work out. Anyway, that's the kind of the update at this point. So I guess I hope you enjoyed the video.